Call to order the Gateway Board of School Directors regular board meeting Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is my chair keeps pushing this table. Mr. Bova. Here. Mrs. Cerucci. Here. Mr. Gottman. Here. Dr. Kalkstein. Here. Mr. Lapsevich. Here. Mr. McIntyre. Present. Mr. Ritter. Here. Mrs. Warning. Here. Mr. Williams. Here. Comments from residents on agenda items. Does anybody wish to address the board at this time on agenda items? Do we have anybody signed up on? No one signed up. <coughs> Section A, minutes of the previous meetings. I have a motion to approve. John second. <coughs> a second. Motion by Mr. McIntyre, second by Mr. Ritter. Questions or comments? Yes, I have some questions about the items on October 10th, October 11th, and November 7th. The goal is to create a set of minutes so that it's very easy to go back and find what the main points and the, the summary of the meetings were, and those are mm, still lacking with some of the detail that we need. So if we have video recordings, perhaps the chairs of those meetings could go back and take another look at them and create summaries for October 10th, October 11th, and November 7th, because all it has right now is that uh, the meeting began, there was a Pledge of Allegiance, people attended, and the meeting adjourned. And so we need a little bit more. And so that's <coughs> all I have there about the minutes. Any other questions or comments? Seeing now, can we have a roll call, please? Yes. Mrs. Cerucci. Aye. Mr. Gottman. Aye. Dr. Kalkstein. Aye. Mr. Lapsevich. Aye. Mr. McIntyre. Aye. Mr. Ritter. Aye. Mrs. Warning. Aye. Mr. Williams. Aye. Mr. Bova. Aye. Motion carries. Section B, bills, financial reports, budget transfers. Mr. Schott. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Section B, resolved that the Gateway Board of School Directors approve sections B1, list of bills, B2, monthly financial statements, and B3, budget transfers, as listed in section B at the Tuesday, November 20th, 2018 regular board meeting. I'd just like to mention that section B1 is comprised of a list of bills for the month of November 2018, including an additional list added after study session meeting. Section B2, the monthly financial statements for the month of October 2018. And Section B3, budget transfers for November 2018, including an additional list added after study session meeting. Is there a motion? So second. Moved. second. Moved by Mr. Gottman, second by Mr. Ritter. Questions or comments? We have a roll call, Bonnie. Mr. Gottman. Aye. Dr. Kalkstein. Aye. Mr. Lapsevich. Aye. Mr. McIntyre. Aye. Mr. Ritter. Aye. Mrs. Warning. Aye. Mr. Williams. Aye. Mr. Bova. Aye. Mrs. Cerucci. Aye. Motion carries. Section C. Previously tabled items. Any uh, action there? No. Nope. Section D. Personnel agenda. Ms. Crump. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Resolved that the Gateway Board of School Directors accepts and approves the personnel agenda items 1 through 6 as listed in Section D for the regular board meeting of Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. Under resignations, we have two. We would also like to call special attention to Mary Kalinowski. Mary has been an employee of Gateway School District for 29 years of service and will be retiring at the Marie. end of this. Marie. Marie, I'm so sorry. Um, at the end of this year, we'll have 29 years of service, and so we congratulate her and thank her for her dedication. Under leave of absence, we have nine listed. want to draw attention to two that were added after the study session. Under three for transfers, per the collective bargaining agreement, you will find four recommendations. Under four, employment, they are all listed as they were in the study section, except we did add a recommendation for a paraprofessional. Under five for supplemental contracts, that's the same as presented in the study session. And under volunteers, we have nine with two additional volunteers listed. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Motion by Ms. Rucci, second by Mr. McIntyre. Questions, comments on section D? Seeing none, we have a roll call point. Dr. Kalkstein. Aye. Mr. Lapsevich. Aye. Mr. McIntyre. Aye. Mr. Ritter. Aye. Mrs. Warning. Aye. 
Mr. Williams? Aye. Mr. Bova? Aye. Mrs. Cerucci? Aye. Mr. Gottlieb? Aye. Thank you Motion carries. Thank you. Section E, conferences and conventions. Dr. Jakey? Thank you, Ms. Williams. Resolved that the Gateway Board of School Directors approves and authorizes the following conferences and conventions as listed in Section E at the regular board meeting of Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. I'd also like to mention that the last two conference requests were added after the study session. Is there a motion? So There's moved. no price on the last one. Is there a second? Second. Moved by Mr. Ritter, second by Mr. Cerucci. Questions or comments? There's no price on the second one? Is that just an oversight? It probably is on my part. I might have not just included it. I can pull that number if you need it, though. Shouldn't be that much since it's no, local. It wasn't. It, was it doesn't not. say Bahamas, so it should be. Close to four hundred. About four hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll add all. that for the minutes. Okay. Can we do for the minutes. Any other questions or comments? Seeing none, can we have a roll call? Mr. Lapsovich. Aye. Mr. McIntyre. Aye. Mr. Ritter. Aye. Mrs. Warning. Aye. Mr. Williams. Aye. Mr. Boba. Aye. Mrs. Cerucci. Aye. Mr. Gottman. Aye. Dr. Kalkstein. Aye. Motion carries. Section F, administrative resolutions. Dr. Short. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Uh, if we could have Dr. Rossi take item number one and item number two. Um, Resolve the Gateway Board of School Directors approves and authorizes as appropriate the fol following items. Uh, number one, 1819 school bus drivers as listed and uh, facility agreements as listed as well. Item number three, Dr. Chakey. Item number three, the Pennsylvania <coughs> Council on the Arts, Artist yes, Residency sure. Project. Yes, sure. Item number four. 30 day public display, new policy 218, metal weapon detection system or device. And five. And uh, item number five, student teachers. Item number six, Mr. Shot. Dr. Short. Item number six, approve the district's utilization of Epic Communications Inc as an E-rate funding consultant to assist the district with future applicable capital projects on an as-needed basis with compensation to be limited to 10% of a successfully filed district E-rate funding request for applicable capital, capital projects as depicted in Exhibit C. <coughs> Item number seven, approve the district's management's discussion and analysis for 2017-2018 fiscal year as depicted in Exhibit D. Item number eight, uh, this was added after study session meet, meeting. Approve the third amendment to option and lease agreement and the memorandum of agreement with new singular wireless PCS LLC for the cellular tower lease area located behind the Gateway High School in the amount of $8,628 for the fiscal year rent for the district as depicted in Exhibit E. I uh, would like to mention that this would be actually a decrease. Let me just get my notes. of 24% from the current amount. Um, they are proposing $8,628. The current lease amount the district is receiving is $11,328. Initially, when I was contacted from them, they wanted to cut it by 47% um, to rough, approximately $6,000 for that. So I did have some discussion, was able to only have a 24% decrease by $2,700 to the $8,628. Um, basically, I had asked that, you know, if we elected not to approve this lease, uh, they essentially would move on. We would lose the, the tower. We, would, we wouldn't have anything per year. So I thought that the $8,628 was better than nothing uh, for that lease, for that site. How many years have we had the uh, cell phone tower? Probably over 20. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was up and running before I even started here. A long time. Yes. And it's, it's been modified a couple times over the years. We've added some areas. We've had some decreases. We actually, I'm going to say, was maybe approximately eight years ago, we almost lost it as well. They were actually getting rid of sites. And I, remember, I recall the gentleman I spoke to on the phone was, was keeping um, schools and uh, religious institution sites. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Item number nine is approved a new contract between the district and Student Transportation of America, or STA, for student transportation services during the seven fiscal years, 2019-2020, 
through 2025 through 2026, with the new contract terms as depicted in Exhibit F. I have a motion. So moved. Second. 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 Motion by Mr. Rucci, second by Mr. Warning. Questions or comments on <coughs> Section F? I just want to say um, I'm the liaison for Sunrise, and we just approved our uh, motion for cell tire over there also. So glad that everybody's getting this set up for that. That's the first time that they've had one. Any other questions or comments on Section F? Uh, yeah. Um, if it's possible, um, you think we can have uh, Michael come in here and maybe explain number six a little bit, just give us some background on exactly what E-rate funding is, why we need or don't need it. On cue, he was late much oh, he, he, he knew. So um, E-rate is a program set up by the federal government. Um, it's funded uh, by a tax on everyone's phone bill. So if you see a line item on your phone bill for the Universal Service Fund, that's essentially the E-rate program. It provides schools and libraries uh, discounted rates based on their economic status um, for services such as internet, wireless services, uh, and communication between schools. Um, now the reason why we are seeking to get a consultant for some of these projects is uh, in the district, um, more things are moving around, especially with discussions as far as closing or um, renovating schools. Anytime you move stuff around, there's extra rules and procedures that come into play. This company, when we looked at them, they are involved from start to finish of a project. Several other consultants help help you file, but will not help you go through audits or um, change any type of contracts, whereas this, they're in it from the very beginning to the very end of the 10-year span for the funding request. Um, so I guess, is there any other, does that cover it or? Anything else? Thank you, Michael. Okay. Any other questions or comments on Section F? Seeing that we have a roll call, please, Bonnie. Mr. McIntyre. Aye. Mr. Ritter. Aye. Mrs. Warning. Aye. Mr. Williams. Aye. Mr. Bova. Aye. Mrs. Cerucci. Aye. Mr. Gottman. Aye. Dr. Kalkstein. Aye. Mr. Lapsovich. Aye. Motion carries. Section G, resolutions presented by board members. We have none. Um, I think I'd like to make a couple motions. Okay. Uh, I move to term, um, actually, uh, first I'd like to make a motion to take the Gateway Middle School property off the market and mark it as not for sale at this time. Looking for a second. I'll second that motion. Motion and a second. <coughs> Questions or comments on the motion? Yeah, I have a question. Why? Um, we've been, it's been on the market for almost a year um, a April went on the market okay and we're the second motion I have will is kind of tied into it uh, we're currently paying X amount of dollars every month for a consultant firm consulting firm to market this property uh, we've had little to no offers come through um, I don't think we're going to see any action on this property right now I think continue it with it on <coughs> on the market with the current marketing strategy is only going to cost a district money moving through September. Once that time period would end, if we decide we want to put it back on the market, we always have that option. I like your thinking there, Rick. That's, that's prudent um, to save the district money it, if the current status of uh, it being zoned residential could be a hindrance. So I think I'm going to go ahead and agree with that motion. I don't know that we can vote on it right now, but you're sure bringing can. it up, so we're, we're discussing it. What that'll do is help put the pressure on Monroeville's council to try to bring them to the table and um, reinstitute the question, can we get it zoned somehow commercial, having gone this long without having uh, a, a bunch of folks come forward and offer legitimate, you know, reasonable um, bids for it to begin the bidding process. So this is a, a change of strategy. I like it. I've been hoping that we could do it for a good while now. So I'm, I'm happy that you're bringing this forward. And if we do get to sit down in an intergovernmental meeting with the Monroeville Council, I hope that they bring to the table some ways to help us move this forward. Thank you. 
I have a comment. I guess we ought to watch how we comment on this property. Uh, I think what uh, the current company would like us to have is set a price on it, uh, a ballpark price, so you know they know what we'd like for it. And secondly, I understand it's been out there for a while, but I don't know if we get the same rate that we're getting now with somebody else down the line. Just food for <coughs> thought. So that's a good alternate strategy. In other words instead of waiting for someone to offer us a price, we could name our own price. The team that we've hired to um, put that price out on the market could then go out and see if anybody is willing to buy it for that price. Or so that's a good offers. alternate approach. So we have at least two alternate, alternate ways of proceeding here based on our discussion tonight. I agree. Well, it might make sense to <coughs> reassess after the feasibility study has actually been completed. More food for thought. I don't think we will get the same rate from another company as we have with the 360 group going in. Any other questions or comments? Uh, do we need a super majority? Yes, you do. Let's have a roll call, Bonnie. Mr. Ritter. I think we need to vote first to be able to hold a vote on this. Am no, I he just made a motion. As it's worded, it's John motion. is correct. Mm -hmm. You so need a supermajority to consider. To consider something out of cycle, right. which would be, would require this would be an out of cycle vote. immediate vote that could right. be conducted after this. So this so is supermajority. I have to think through the question. Need to address, that's kind okay. of right, so you just totally lost if, me. if I vote no on this, then that would buy time for people in the um, audience to weigh in on this. If I vote yes on this and everyone else voted yes, then um, we could we could leapfrog without transparency. So I think I'm going to vote no on this for that reason, because it opens the door for transparency. I don't want us to make a mistake and be hurried about this uh, as much as I like the idea. So Bonnie, my answer is no. Well, before we start voting, I, I think that uh, the point is being made that we have a a resolution that talks about putting things on the agenda that night and I think in order to do that I think you first have to put it on the agenda so Rick why don't you modify your your motion to put this matter on the agenda for a vote on whether or not um, <clears throat> we continue to market the property I'd like to make a motion to consider okay. having a possible vote tonight on there you go. Taking the, the building off the market. The and I'll be tonight. looking for a second. I know. Second. Right. He's, so we're he, scratching the whole No, process. just, just, for just the bear moment. with this me. Just bear with me. Okay. Is there a second to that? Yeah. <coughs> Why don't we take a roll call? Roll call I, I have a question. Okay. Okay. I got a question. Um, Mr. Dice, do we have anything binding with this company that we can just terminate them without? We're not voting on the company right now. We're voting on the. But, but, I, I, but I was just asking him another Do question. We need to have an executive that. session to discuss contracts. Well, there's a motion and a second out there right yeah. now. Yeah, there's right. a couple of them floating around. Yeah, yeah right. we do. Yeah. Yeah. But the motion has nothing to do with that contract. But after a second, you I can have discussion. We're having discussion. Okay. So does everybody understand this what's going on? Come on? We're just putting it on the agenda right now. Mm -hmm. Then right. We're, I'm going to address your point. Okay. On the so agenda we'll for call. tonight. Right. That's correct. You ready for the roll call? John. Roll yes. Call yes, okay. We're changing that to a yes. Okay. Well, to be able to talk about it. To yes. be able to talk about it. That's agenda. correct. No, it's to put it on the agenda to, for tonight. Right. Yes. So then we, we can't can talk, talk about it if it's not on the agenda. So yes. Mrs. Warning. Yes. Mr. Williams. No. Mr. Boba. Yes. Mrs. Cerucci. Yes. Mr. Gottman. Yes. Mr. Dr. Kalkstein. Uh. Mr. Lapsovich. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Aye. Motion, Motion carries. carries. Okay, now, now George, George raised the question, well, <coughs> don't we have a contract with somebody? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You have a contract with a group to market this. Depending on what happens when you vote to either continue to market this property or you don't market it anymore, or stop marketing it now, that contract could be affected. 
to this extent. You've taken away the purpose of the contract. If you, if legitimately, if you decided that you want to take your house off the market and you have a real estate agent signed up for a listing agreement, you take your house off the market, that's it. The listing agreement goes, goes by the wayside. You, you should know that that contract, that listing agreement that you signed, that's really what it was, uh, runs until next uh, September. So I would suggest to you that if you attempted to market the property between, if, if the vote was yes, take the property off the market. And then someone came in, let's say in April or May or June or July or August or September 28th, 2019, arguably that real estate agent could argue that there's still a procuring cause in getting that client to come to you. So you don't, when you take it off the market, you've taken away from the, the purpose of the contract. And as such, I think you're entitled to do that. But I, I want you to know that during that period of time, while that contract still is out there, you could be, well, you could be, you could be somewhat liable if, if we you wanted take, to if, if you sold, take it off the market. If you didn't take it off, and it, the idea is, you're you're deciding not to go forward with the sale of the property anymore, mainly because you can't get it rezoned. I mean that that's really what this is all about. It's very simple. The property's worth one thing as R, something else is as commercial. You're paying a real estate agent to continue to try to market this as R, and it's not working out. You can decide tonight to take that off the market, and so be it. I think at that point, the, the purpose of the contract with the um, real estate agent is, is, a, is a nullity. You're not, you don't have a contract anymore. But I, I would suggest that if that's what you want to do, you would vote to, to terminate the deal because there's no, uh, no purpose to the contract anymore. There's nothing to market. Okay, thank you. Bruce, if I'm understanding you correct, then we cannot really remarket the pro the property if we wanted to until after September. If we take it off now, we better be ready to take it off until September when the contract I'm saying, would have expired. I'm being very conservative about it. I think mm -hmm. if somebody from uh, Texas comes in here and says, look, I'll give you $60 million for it, and there's no link back to 360, you're probably going to be okay. But if somebody locally comes in, they're going to say they may have heard it from 360. And if they did, then 360 would be entitled to a fee. Okay. All right. So now. It, in other words, what I'm trying to say is this is kind of a fluid situation. You, you know, you, you do this, there you, you can certainly get the, the, the goal of accomplishing not paying 360 for continued months if that's what you want to do. All right. So that's the expense of me enabling us to be transparent for another month until, no, until next month, we would have to pay the <coughs> next set of fees for that month's work before we took it off the market if, if that's what we decide to do later on. So th there's an expense to this transparency and the question is are we willing to pay that or not. So that's what the next vote's gonna be about. Did you get that? Should I say it again? Oh, no. No? no. no. no? <laughs> you didn't get Any it? Any other questions or comments? You did get it? Okay. Okay, so I believe we need to have... Rick has to now put his motion on Correct. to uh, take the property off the market. So no, we, no, we didn't vote. We didn't vote to have it be placed officially on the agenda. Which you did. We, we, just, we did. just did. That's what we did. Yes. That was the first vote. Everybody voted yeah, except it's on. Okay, thank you. Remember? You're right. What did we do? Now, this is now I move, Bonnie. I move to remove the mark, remove the bill, the Gate property the from the market. Yes. And market not for sale. Second. That is the motion. Jack second. Does this need a super majority? Yes. 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 No. Yes, yes. It does. Yes, it does. Yes. Six because it hasn't yes. been transparent. Yes. No. Yes, it does. It's tonight. It's tonight. You didn't. You, you need a super a super majority to consider it. We passed that. I think you need the super yeah, majority the on the vote. Majority. On the vote, right? The vote on. Well, let's take the vote and we'll go from there. We'll see what happens, right? <laughs> Buddy, can we have a roll call, <laughs> Mrs. Warning. Is this to take it off the market? Yes. yes. No. Mr. Williams. No. 
Miss, Mr. Bova? Yes. Mrs. Cerucci? Yes. Mr. Gottman? Yes. Dr. Kalkstein? No. Mr. Lapsevich? No. Mr. McIntyre? Yes. Mr. Ritter? No. No. Motion, motion fails. Motion, motion fails. fails. And so now we, we would like to hear from the public. Well, let's see if there's any other I, I still, I'm still going to make the second motion. And I guess we'll do the, the hula hoop thing here. I'd like to make a motion to consider ending the, con the current contract with for the 360 group. Second. Okay, and you're asking that to be second put on the agenda? John? Correct. That John? So that's the vote, that to put on, on the agenda. Okay. Put this one on the agenda. Okay, does everybody understand what we're voting on now? First, we're, we voted to take the property off the market. Mm -hmm. Now we're voting to terminate the 360 contract. That's we're correct. voting to put that on. on put it put on. That on the agenda yeah. so that we can then consider it. So we can then. What do we do to our policy? <laughs> Which will take a supermajority to pass. For both of these? We'll put, let's get through this one, not yeah. just this one. This is, this is five votes. Yes. This, this First, put it, is on to the agenda. put it on the agenda. Correct. Okay. That's a five vote. No, there's a supermajority. This is a supermajority. Can we, we take a minute and actually find the policy and read it? Well, Before we vote and then figure out later if the vote counted. Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's, just that Let's, Let's, Let's see where the vote lies on this one. Mr. Williams. No. No. Mr. Bova. Yes. Mrs. Cerucci. Yes. Mr. Gottman. Yes. Dr. Kalkstein? Yes. Mr. Lapsevich? No. Mr. McIntyre? Aye. Mr. Ritter? Yes. Mrs. Warning? No. No. Motion six, carries. Six, three. Yeah. Motion six, carries. Six, six, seven, two. Three. It's 6-3. 6-3. 6-3? Six, 6-3. Three. Six, three. Six, three. Okay. Six, so now we're going to vote on the That's motion. To now I'd like to make a motion yeah. to end the contract with the 360 group. Second. Uh, Second. Motion. Jack, okay. <clears throat> Bonnie, are you following along? Well, she is. She is. She's amazing. I got you back up, Bonnie. We're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. McIntyre, motion. Jack. Mr. Bova, yeah. second. Second. Jack, John. Okay. John, Jack. So are we permitted to question this now? If there's a second. Away, yeah, yes. I guess there's a second. Yes. Yeah. You may discuss. Questions. Okay, oh. now we, we could also vote immediately to end the contract now, or we could take another whatever it is a month until the next meeting to hear from the public in order to promote transparency. So for that reason, I'm going to be voting no to continue the contract because I think it's proper to do that because the public might want us to continue the contract. I wish we would have had that transparency when this contract was signed. Great. This contract being signed was the reason for the convoluted policy we're now struggling to get through tonight. I agree. As as transparency. I, agree. I just want to point that out. So now I'm ready to vote. Any other? John is ready. I'm ready. I'm just well, waiting. He's ready. I'm ready. Well, I Any other questions or comments? If I understood uh, Mr. Dice correctly, um, with the if we would go forth and terminate the contract 360, as you said, if a group from outside the state says, hey, I want to give you money, we can take it. 360 doesn't get nothing. Once the contract's terminated, even though we're not paying a fee, if they hear it through 360, then they're still getting the same fee that they would have got while they were under contract? No. If this is a very, again, fluid situation. This is a what if kind of thing. This is like a law school exam question. I would suggest to you that if you terminate their contract, they're now free to try to enforce the contract if you get a sale. I don't know where the sale's going to come from, okay? I don't know who would, would buy the property at right, this point. I'm sorry to interrupt, but just to be clear, no one's trying to cheat 360 mm -hmm. out of some potential fee. If someone shows no. up with an extraordinary amount of money, I don't think anyone here is going to say, oh, too bad for you, 360. We, we canceled your policy last week. In fact, That's not what this is about In fact, all. we are bending over backwards to try to give them more ammunition to be able to go out and sell this uh, for a higher price, the C2 price. And we're, we're trying to find a way to help them move forward. So I, Mr. McIntyre is absolutely right. When this, when this notion was floated initially to sell an asset with no price for whatever reason, I wasn't here for that discussion, 
I mean, has that ever worked before? It's never worked in my life. So, you know, okay, we've kept that track record perfect. So if we want to sell this thing for real, you know, let's do it. If, though, you know, we recognize that it's an asset that would be very expensive to replace, then let's figure that out with the use of the folks we've just contracted with to help with this discussion. But, I mean, 360s, this isn't some end run around them in any way. Definitely not. We're just trying to figure out the smart way to go forward in 2019 to deal with these 3,500 students. Yes? Exactly. Well said. And what I, I do, Mary. My, my reason for this isn't to... to Again, to you punish anybody them forever, for, Rick. for yeah. anything. Or, or to derail. No, it's not to derail anything. It is my view that, given the time that we've had with the with it on the market with that current group, without a price, <coughs> with, without a price which was their actually their advice to start off with. No, okay. Um, either way, the the little bit of feedback we've gotten back, which has been practically nothing, gives me the feeling that I. I don't believe we are going to get a number that satisfies our needs to sell the building and do what we need to do for the reorganization of the district by September. I do not see that happening. I don't believe it's going to happen. I don't see any more any use in continuing to spend money on something that I have no faith in working or happening. Okay, I want to make a comment. Um, I believe we had talked about it's up to the board to put a price on that property. We have yet to do it, so I blame the board itself. We've talked about doing, but we have not come up with a price that we feel is going to be what we need for to rather rebuild or redo the property. Well, uh, I, I hate with, to disagree, but there isn't one bit of real estate acumen that I am aware of amongst this group of people. So for us mm -hmm. nine to pick a number, in fact, when we started talking about this, you know, I tried to work it backwards. What's the magic number we need from this school to facilitate whatever the next step was? And because, you know, we had put the cart way before not the even, horse. you know, in front of the horse. He's not in the same field. You know, we don't have any of these answers. So, you know, I don't have any problem saying, okay, someone made an effort and it wasn't ideal. Let's stop and, you know, try to figure out what is the number we even need to do the thing that we want to do next. And if I'm not mistaken, hopefully some of that answer will be given by the feasibility, exactly. the feasibility study, which has just started and will take about four to six months, which pushes us even closer towards that September date. So again, the vote here is about whether you think we're going to get an offer for a magic number that we don't know by September. And is that the odds of that worth spending the money we're spending every month? to market this through, through the 360 group. I don't believe it is. I believe we should, again, pump the brakes, kind of start over again here, wait for the feasibility study, see what that comes up with, see what we we decide as a board is our best, best move forward, and then go from there. But in the meantime, I don't think there's any point in continuing to throw more money. And actually, Mrs. Warning, we, the board would have to come up with two prices, mm -hmm. the price of a residential arrangement and the price of a commercial arrangement and then offer those two prices to the 360 group and have them market each one with the guarantee that if they purchase it for the commercial price that we can get the council to agree mm -hmm. to whoever the purchaser might be all of which is seems to be well out of our ability right. to control because we can't know the future well it's more just putting a number on it to see if anybody would take a bite and that's it. It's just like going to the store and saying, I want to buy that loaf of bread, but there's no price on it. So it's very hard to anybody to come forward to say, okay, I want to buy a piece of property, not having any idea what it's going to cost. See, that, I, not being a real estate expert, I thought that that's what the bidding process was, where we get a bunch of bids from a bunch of folks, we unseal them when we look at them, and we see uh, what the highest bidder's offer would be. That's the way you do it. But again, I'm not a real estate expert here. Any other questions or comments? Would you be open to it yeah. so we can discuss it further for two weeks and then vote on it? I'm open to whatever the board wants to do. Still in the room. Um, I have quite a few. I'd like to see the contract we have with 360. Is it an at-will contract? If we terminate it, we still may be liable to pay them. If we sell. Within the contract, it no, just did you well, look you at that? You still have that mm -hmm. monthly obligation. Yeah, we may still need to pay that. So we would have to I would feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. We have to pay it just regardless. Just so you know, my position is if you if you terminate it, 
and you've taken it off the market, then I don't think the, the, the contract has a purpose anymore. I think you'd be able to successfully uh, defend some claim that there's $2,700 due every month if you're not out marketing. But I mean, that's an argument. I move to table. Second. Second. Okay, we'll no, roll no, call. No, no. This is for tabling. Tabling. Mr. Boba. Aye. Mrs. Cerucci. Aye. <coughs> Mr. Gottman. Aye. Dr. Kalkstein. Aye. Mr. Lapsovich. Aye. Mr. McIntyre. No. Mr. Ritter. Aye. Mrs. Warning. Aye. Mr. Williams. No. No. Motion carries to table. Any other motions, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> We finally found a solution in this. <laughs> but it, what is it? Uh, it, it is, it needs to be addressed. He doesn't think it's correct. It so. is not what was voted on originally by the board. Well, the word supermajority doesn't actually appear in it. Any other resolutions presented by board members? Seeing none, comments from residents on non-agenda items. Anybody wish to address the school board at this time on non-agenda items? Seeing none, we only have STA. Yep. Two shot. We have uh, two representatives from STA, Mr. Paul. You guys would come up to the microphone up there, please. Mr. Paul Fickner and Mr. Ron Ferrick from STA. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> um, Ron and I, uh, Ron Ferrick is with me. My name is Paul Fickner. I'm the Vice President of Operations for STA for the state of Pennsylvania. Um, Ron and I have been uh, doing this uh, the school bus function uh, for probably the last 25 years. And across that 25-year period, for most of that, uh, Gateway has been one of our customers. Uh, in fact, we teased Mr. Schott that one time, literally, in this building, was his first day or first week of work with Gateway School District. That's how far back we go with, with, that, with Gateway personally. Uh, we spanned a couple of different companies but literally, over the last 25 years, most of our years have been providing a service to all of you. Uh, we take that partnership extremely seriously. And tonight, and, and six years ago, when we, or five and a half years ago, when STA was successfully awarded the contract to begin service for the Gateway School District, there was no one prouder and happier than Ron and myself. Uh, we really, really take this partnership seriously. And when we talk about a five-year contract or a six-year contract, it was never our intent to only be here for five years or only be here for six or seven years. We want to be here for 10, 20, 25, 30 years. That's the way we look at a contract when we take it over. So tonight, uh, giving us another seven-year contract, we are really, really extremely uh, grateful. Uh, thank you for that and also for entrusting the safety of your children with our company. It's something we take extremely seriously and we're really proud to do that. And thank you. Um, we, uh, we, we really consider the districts we serve are partners. <coughs> and when we're in conferences across the state, um, no question about it, Gateway stands out. Uh, your reputation for your administration, your community, and of course your sports that you could all smile about. <laughs> we, really are, we really see, uh, we're, we're known and we're proud to say that we transport the children of Gateway School District. So I can't thank you guys enough and really appreciate the support from the board, from the administration. Uh, we're really, really proud to be here for another seven years. And like I said, it's gonna be uh, hopefully longer than that. So thank you very much. You good, you wanna say anything? No. Okay. All right, that being said. I, uh, I did it 25 years from now, I'll be 90. <laughs> well, 25 years ago, you said you wouldn't be here. Yeah. So still here. I say we've, I've been with Ron longer than my wife, actually, <laughs> sadly. Um, but anyway, uh, to prove our commitment, uh, as we're going to be here for, the, for at least the next seven years, we are extremely excited to announce tonight that as a company, uh, SDA is going to fully sponsor the stadium scoreboard for the, for the district. So it's, again, it's our commitment to all of you. You certainly committed to us. Um, we truly take this as, a, uh, as the model for, our, for STA, the community that we serve. We have a great facility. You are one, the one of us, you, you kind of uh, 
you, you bought into our dream of propane buses, you know, five and a half years ago. You're one of the first districts to have that happen. And now we're running about 300 in Pennsylvania. And you guys were the first. And we bring people into the gateway facility, other superintendents to come look at the operation, look at the vehicles. And they ask about, they ask uh, Paul about the vehicles. And you really helped us springboard that across the state of Pennsylvania. So something, again, we're very, very proud of. And when we look at the scoreboard, we see that as an opportunity. We know all the people that flow through your stadium, and it's an opportunity for us as well to, be, uh, to get our name in front of the communities that come into this uh, great stadium of yours. And we're really, really proud to be able to do that. So again, thank you very much, and we look forward to the next seven years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Reports. Um, we'll start with Ms. Baumgart. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So I just would like to say uh, I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. That's all. Thank you. Dr. Jakey. Nothing. Dr. Rossi. Nothing further. Mr. Schott. Nothing further. Thank you. Well, we wish all of our staff a happy Thanksgiving and thank them for their service. Mr. Dice. Nothing further. Dr. Short. Yes, Mr. Williams. Um, Pennsylvania Department of Education has officially launched the Future Ready PA Index, and that went live on Friday. Um, myself, um, central office, had an opportunity to review this. Uh, we are excited uh, for our scores representing the Gateway School District and all of our buildings. In fact, uh, we're here to announce on December 6th, we will be holding a uh, special meeting up at the LGI uh, with information related to the Future Ready Index. Uh, so we will have a presentation with information uh, related to our scores and the efforts of our children. Also, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Dr. Kalstein. Nothing further. Thanks. Mr. Gottman. Um, I don't want to be redundant to Thanksgiving things, so I'll just uh, talk about the artwork. And we have Mr. Cleric's class with some very nice pieces. And I actually really do like the island one, especially this time of year. It tries to keep you warm. Um, so great job, kids. And with that, that's all I got. Mr. McIntyre. I just want to wish everybody a happy holiday. Um, don't drink and drive. Call an Uber or Lyft. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lapsovich. Yes, thank you. I want to thank our great uh, Gateway football team for an outstanding season. Um, they played their hearts out last Friday, but sometimes you can't beat the officials. No matter how good of a, <laughs> no matter how good coach you are, the officials are the boss. Also, I'd like to thank SDA for another seven great years, and um, we we love you and. Um, and we welcome you for another seven years. And um, I wish everybody a thanks, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you, George. Ms. Warren? Uh, yes. Um, again, thank you to SDA. Appreciate your commitment to Gateway. Um, our number one concern is our students and everything that we see that your company does revolves around that. Thank you. Um, Hurry, picking up on Mr. Lapsovich. Congratulations to our football team. It, um, watching the boys start out, and girl, start out at the beginning of the season, you see a new crew coming in. And I have to commend our coaches that we have by pulling them all together. What a great set of young men and women that we had on this football team this year. I didn't like seeing it end. Um, it was hard, but I think maybe now with this new scoreboard, we can't always play controversial calls. But we will be able to see that call come back replay. and <laughs> replay. I think Mr. Ritter would agree with that. Um, but I just want to tell you guys, you know, played your hearts out, and there were a lot of people supporting you. And wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Mr. Bova. Uh, Scott, I was hoping we could go around the room and just have everybody say something they're thankful for. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we did that at dinner. I'm thankful for serving with you, Scotty Williams. And I'm thankful for serving with you. That's it. Everyone have a great Thanksgiving. I appreciate your patience and listening to all this hard work tonight. Thank you. Mr. Ritter. Sure, a couple things. 
Some ALICE drills have been held in some of the elementary schools. Uh, every month we have the fire drills. This time we had a couple of the ALICE drills. Maybe, Dr. Short, you could give us a little update on what the kids go through in some of these ALICE drills. Actually, we do have our safety um, director here, Dr. Shakey, uh, who can provide The goal is to make it extra safe for all the kids, yes. and this is how it's done. Yeah, what we want to do is just make sure that we run through the routines. Any event that an emergency happens, that we're prepared. And we make sure that all the, all the uh, routines that we run through are age appropriate. Uh, the drill may look differently at the high school than it does at the elementary school. And uh, it's, it's all about preparation, just to make sure that our students are safe in the event of any situation. Well, thank you for doing that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Number two, Mrs. Baumgard, you're going to Philadelphia with some of your colleagues to um, play a video about the Gator Cafe. It is so special. You and your team have been invited out to talk a little bit about it so that perhaps it can be multiplied in other schools where certain kids can step forward and serve the other students in, in an appropriate way, um, learn the skills of being behind the counter and uh, preparation and counting money and all those wonderful things. So congratulations to you and your team who are headed out there. But this little video, I'd like to see if we could find a way to show it to the folks here in Pitt, Karen, and Monroeville by looping it on the local cable access stations. The problem with that is there's a little wrinkle that Michael's been working on. Uh, on, on our behalf with the uh, local um, Channel 13 Comcast. So when he gets that wrinkle um, ironed out with the municipality of Monroeville, so that uh, channel will be available for other things like this little video. And I'd like to ask some of the teachers, the music teachers here at Gateway, if you've got some old recordings of either you or some of your students, um, maybe some musicals, some Christmas music, something like that, Send those to us because December's right around the corner. We'd like to load up that local cable access station with some videos. I'm, I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, next. Um, let's page down here. Congratulations to the football team and the parents and the guardians of the, stu of the uh, students who were uh, performing the, uh, the band, the uh, athletic um, um, uh, train the training the, the support <coughs> the um, all, all the equipment the parents are the ones who also need to get pat on the back especially my sister uh, Brenda Majaka's mother <laughs> so she, she's been heartbroken to see you know all, all the time that the blood sweat and tears that the kids have invested to come so close to a whip Yule chan championship so my heart goes out to some of the parents as well and thank you for all that you've done for the kids Next, we need to have the policy committee review uh, the support service animals. So if you would put that on your agenda for the next time, please. And then the last one, I already touched it. Looking for some music from the music teachers here that we could broadcast. So that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Ritter. Mr. Ritchie. I got nothing. Sure. Um, sure. <coughs> I'd like to wish everybody a happy holiday and uh, congratulations to the football team. And after that, I look for a motion to adjourn. So All in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Aye. We're adjourned.